So this is the portfolio which I have opened. If I slide it down, you will find that these are the six projects which I have highlighted, which are absolutely important. If you come back to the channel, then you will find that I have the complete playlist. We have more than 40 plus playlists, 40 plus projects which you can simply follow straight away where you're going to build every single thing from scratch. You will master all the technology which we have utilized in the project. But this six project is absolutely must for every blockchain developer. If you really want to master all the required technology before you enter into the industry. So the very first project which I have in my list is this supply chain management. This one is really powerful. It will help you to gain the understanding about the smart contract, front end interaction and how you can build a decentralized app which can communicate with the blockchain and it will feed the data in the front end so user can interact easily and you will also learn about the contract development because there we have followed the structure so this is absolutely must for you to start with because this will give you the complete idea about the decentralized app once you're done with that then you have to move to the blockchain cloud funding this will help you to understand the concept of crown funding and DAO system that how you can easily be able to build different business model on top of it where you can able to raise the capital where you can allow the user to raise fund and they can simply launch their program there you will build a complete different contract which deal with the financial product so this one is the second project you have to include after that you have to focus on governance because right now you will find a lot of projects are coming around governance whether you talk about the government whether they talk about the data center whether you talk about the health management this governance is taking a very huge role into that so there you will understand that how governance system work on a decentralized ecosystem how you can build a decentralized voting dab which can be included and which can be tracked down the entire process of the electoral we have in the organization in the democracy that's all you can able to track it down so once you're done with this third after that you have to focus on chat application this one is little advanced then you can able to learn and do a real testing of your skill in solidity smart contract development that you need a, a good understanding of solidity where you can able to understand the complex and advanced concept we're going to learn about the kcap byte managing the data managing building the relations tons of things you're going to learn into this so this is the fourth project you have to build after that you don't need to touch this unisop clone because this one is the letter part after that you have to build this one nft marketplace this project is the real world project where you're going to build a complete NFT market where you can allow user to create their NFT, sell their NFT. And when they will do that, you're going to make commission out of it. So we have a complex logic, complex smart contract, which we have implemented into this. So this is the one you have to build. Once you're done with that, after that, you have to build with the DeFi project, which is the Unisop clone. Then you will build a complete decentralized exchange where you will allow user to create liquidity, perform the swap, and you will master all the contract. Because when it's come to a DeFi project, there you have to know that how you can interact with the multiple contract, how you can able to perform multiple transactions in a single call, how one contract is dependent on another. So there you will master complete multiple contract terminology you will understand how decent exchange work how money work that's what you will learn so this six project is absolutely must for every single blockchain developer if you really want to see yourself in the industry and if you really want to give a really good competition because if you really build all of this project and understand all of this you are already ahead of 80 to 90 percent of the people because most of the new developer most of the intermediate they don't have this skills which we have covered in this one they know few things they know they work in a small part in the industry but if you really work on all of this project you can easily able to understand every single thing so if i open this nft marketplace then you will find the details description which i have given because this is the portfolio which i was teaching students that how you can build your portfolio so this is what of the project the portfolio which i have built there i have highlighted all the details like image description the key feature we have into this the stacks we have utilized and here you will find that it's better that if you have a small small demo and you can explain it to that that's the video you can attach you can also add a live video where you can able to display the project which you have developed and you should never share your code straight away you should always prepare and be professional so if i click on this documentation this is the documentation which i was guiding in the university and you will find that this is the structure which you have to follow so you should have to maintain the entire structure you have to highlight that what are the technology you have used how you have structured that what are the requirements to build this project you will find that what are the network it can be deployed how the contract is got utilized what are the external contract we have used what are the contract model we have used for connecting with the contract and making the building the connection with the 
blockchain and here you will find the entire diagram so this will help the user or the investor to understand okay this is how the flow of the contract would work so if i scroll down you can able to highlight all the details details about the contract that what are the problems we have in the contract what are the downside that's all you will highlight that's all you will highlight so this is how you have to do you should never share your code straight away your main purpose is to have the hr or the tech department tech head into the call then once you will have the call with them then you can able to explain all of that then they will have the coding round and they will get into the company so this is the process you have to follow so this is how you have to prepare your doc if i come back here if i go back to the supply chain and here i can able to highlight all the technology which i have used if i check the documentation then you will find the doc we have so this is how you have to build your portfolio because if you have a strong portfolio you are already ahead of 80 percent of the people because most of the new developer they don't have the proper portfolio they don't know how to build that one and how to apply for job and internship so here you will find all the details which I have provided. You have to give a details about yourself that a small description. Then you what are your core skills? What do you have worked in the past? That's all you have to highlight here. So it would be easy for the recruiter or anybody to get you on the board very quickly. So you can see all the details which I have provided. And that's how you have to provide your entire roadmap. If you come back here, you can also categorize because sometimes what happened? Different users have different needs. Some of them want to work on NFT, DeFi, governance and all. So they can simply filter and they can able to have the details and they can explore all of that. Here you have to mention all the technology which you know so like on the back end side what do you know when it's come to a blockchain on the front end side what do you know what about the devops so that's all you can highlight that's all you can highlight here you can highlight the most important question here you can add the quick call so you can simply click here and user can book a call for you and you can also add an email section so this is how you have to prepare a portfolio when you send a portfolio like this where you have a detailed description about the project every single thing and all you will have the highest chance of getting on the board getting on the work so that's the thing we have to keep in mind because after reviewing hundreds of portfolio this is what i have realized that most of you don't know how to build your portfolio and some of you are also complaining that i'm not getting job and internship if you can't prepare if you can't present yourself in good way then how would you expect because right now the competition is very high so you have to know how you have to present yourself you have done amazing work but you have to know how you have to present yourself so make sure to check this one okay this is how you have to prepare and these are the six projects which you have to build if you come back to the playlist here you will find all the playlists which i have which can easily start building straight away so that's the only thing i want to cover i hope this makes sense and now you will start working on your portfolio so just build portfolio all of this project which you have seen it will take three to two months if you give your dedicated time build a proper and try to understand the way it explain it will help you a lot you have to select the project which you are building very attentively you can't build any random project you have to be aware about the industry that what exactly happening what are the projects are coming and then you have to decide that what are the project you have to include in your portfolio because if you have a proper portfolio where you can explain all the work which you have done that will do 80 percent of your work when you will send your portfolio to any client any user for your project for getting the investment it would be very easy for you to simply get into the call and and they can start discussing about the project idea because that's the thing you have to do you have to be very selective about the project which you are adding in your portfolio which will highlight all the skills which you have and you should always build those projects which is relevant with the industry you can't build any random project so far you guys have understood that what is going to be the topic of our today's video and i'm going to highlight those projects which you have to build absolutely if you are advanced developer intermediate or absolutely beginner this six project is absolutely must for you so that's the only thing i want to talk about in this video if you have any question any doubt do let me in the comment section i'll definitely try to help in that have a wonderful day bye, -bye.